obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a compressed well flow inside the wind tunnel. The tunnel is one of the most widely used aerodynamic testing devices today. Among the many experiments that can be performed in wind tunnels, we can mention the testing of various structures, including various types of air poles, planes, static structures, etc. The purpose of these experiments is usually to investigate the aerodynamic condition and visibility of flow lines. The free fall test can also be performed in a tunnel to examine the effect of airflow on a falling object. Due to the importance of the effects of the forces, including drag on the body, the calculation of these forces is important, which can be calculated with the help of CFD. In this project, a wind tunnel and a specific body that is placed inside it are modeled. The effect of drag force on this body is investigated. The energy model and a standard K epsilon model with the use of standard ball functions are activated and used. The geometry of this project is designed in Asset Design Modeler and consists of two parts of the body, which is placed in the middle of the tunnel and a outer wall representing the tunnel. This project is meshed inside ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is on a structure and total element number is equal to uh, 179,542. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, by clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Now there are several assumptions taken in this project. The first one uh, is that the type of our solver is set to be density based, since the airflow entering the computational domain has a high velocity and that our uh, flow will be compressible. Also, the velocity formulation in this project is taken to be in absolute form, and as for the time study, we have selected the steady time study since we don't want our results to be a function of time. After clicking on the energy button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, we enable the energy equation since we want to solve uh, a compressible flow and that we want to see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain. As was mentioned in previous slides about the type of this boundary, which was uh, selected to be pressure fall through, in order to enter the Mach number of the flow entering this domain, you can see that the Mach number is equal to this value. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now, in this control, you can easily see how the streamlines have deformed around the block body inside the wind tunnel. As you can see in this control, the front section of the block body has, has an increased pressure since the velocity of the airflow reaches zero in that section and of course in the rear part of the block body you can see that how pressure has decreased. In the 
presented velocity vector contour, you can easily see how the bakes have been generated in the rear section of the block body. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.